फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट लिव ग्रांटेड इन द प्रजेंट केस एन एफ आई आर डेटेड ट्वेंटी एट मार्च टू थाउजेंड टू वॉज लोस्ट इन विच इट वॉज स्टेटेड दैट द फादर इन लो एंड मदर इन लो ऑफ द लेडी हु कमिटेड सुइसाइड हेरास्ट हर फॉर एट लीस्ट फाइव ईयर्स एंड दिस हेरासमेंट देयर फोर लेट टू ऑफेंसिस बींग कमिटेड अंडर सेक्शंस फोर हंड्रेड नाइन्टी एट ए एंड सेक्शन थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्स ऑफ द इंडियन पीनल कोड द ट्रायल कोर्ट रिलाइड अपॉन द एविडेंस ऑफ पी डब्ल्यूज फोर एंड फाइव हु वर नेबर्स हु अटेस्टिड टू द फैक्ट दैट देयर वॉज हेरासमेंट मीटेड बाय द इन लॉज टू द डेड बॉडी मेडिकल एविडेंस ऑल्सो शोज दैट देयर वर नाइंटी परसेंट बॉन्स एज द लेडी हैड पोर्ड कैरोसिन ऑन हर सेल्फ एंड सेट हर सेल्फ ऑन फायर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली अकॉर्डिंग टू बोथ द ट्रायल कोर्ट एंड द हाई कोर्ट अ डाइंग डेक्लारेशन वॉज मेड बिफोर पी डब्ल्यू नाइन हु वॉज अ सब डिविजनल मैजिस्ट्रेट विच रीड्स एज फॉलोज द पी डब्ल्यू नाइन हिम्मत सिंह हैज स्टेटेड that as on 28th march 2 he was working as stm and on that day he had gone to the hospital to record the statement of the deceased at that time dr verma was the duty doctor and he had stated that lalita was in a state of fitness to record her statement when i asked lalita she had told that she was sleeping and her in-laws were quarreling with her every day today also they quarreled with me they asked me to leave the house my husband is not responsible for anything he resides in kuwait he has come here now i am residing separately from my in-laws today they had come with their luggage and said that they have come to stay with her i told them that i am not in a good relations with them and therefore i cannot reside with them they told we will stay here and you get lost then i got angry and went inside the kitchen and poured kerosene from the stove and set myself on fire my father in law was looking at me but did not try to stop me my husband tried to save me my in laws were demanding dowry from me i did not have any quarrels with my husband my signatures are there on the statement recorded by me lalita's thumb impression is there at point x during the cross examination by the learned counsel the witness stated that the statement recorded by him is at exhibit p5 and at point x the thumb impression of lalita is there at the time of recording the statement no one from her parents side was present and the in-laws of the deceased were turned out of the room at the time of recording the statement lalita's husband om prakash was present at the time of lalita setting herself on fire and at the time of putting off the flames on this evidence the trial court held that the offence under section 498a was not made out but convicted the two appellants before us under section 306 and sentenced them to imprisonment for 3 years in an appeal filed by them before the high court the high court 
relying upon the aforesaid dying declaration dismissed the appeal learned counsel for the appellants has argued before us that the state did not appeal against their acquittal under section 598a and that therefore the fact that the offence under section 498a has not been made out is final this has a vital bearing on the offence under section 306 as one of the ingredients of this offence is that cruelty should have been meted out by the offenders he also argued that based on the dying declaration which has been given prime importance this is not a case of abatement as there is no evidence of any intention to help the deceased to commit suicide on the other hand the learned counsel appearing for the state of rajasthan supported the impugned judgment according to him it is concurrently held based on the evidence of the case as well as the dying declaration stop